Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Villa TV and welcome to this program, The Keys of Life, where we discuss religious matters about our everyday lives. Today we will be talking again about what Islam tells us about eating and drinking and the mannerisms we are recommended to observe. In this program, let's talk about more of the things we should do when we eat and drink. We said in the last program that we must remember to wash our hands before we start eating and after we eat and that this has many benefits such as diminishing poverty and sorrow and improving our sustenance and our health and our eyesight. So just a simple task washing your hands before you eat and washing your hands after you eat will help you gain all these benefits. Now. After we've initially washed our hands to eat, we have a hadith from the Holy Prophet وسلم, where he states, Eat together and recite Allah's name so that Allah can bless it for you. This also means that say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim so that your food can increase and fill you up. This is what this hadith means by bless. And that's interesting in itself. Allah blesses your food so that it can give you the best possible benefits and satiate your hunger. So Bismillah helps you to fill yourself up. This is a simple rule, yet many, many Muslims neglect to carry it out when it's so easy and takes a matter of seconds to do. Saying Bismillah means you've remembered Allah, the one who has given you this sustenance, given you this food. And as a reward in this world, Allah will bless the food for you. And the reward in the hereafter will be calculated by us, will be calculated for us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he is the most generous. Now the question which comes to mind is what do we do if we forget to say Bismillah? And in the middle of our meal, we remember this. This can happen. Can we say it then? Well, of course. And we have in our narrations that whenever you remember that you've forgotten to say your Bismillah, you should say Bismillah ala awalihi wa akhirihi. In other words, Bismillah from the beginning of my meal and until it finishes. So it's okay if you don't remember, we are all human after all. And we may forget, but as soon as you remember, just quickly say Bismillah. Another good thing is to do is when you're starting to eat your food is to say Bismillah slightly loudly. So say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim so that you're reminding others who have forgotten to say Bismillah to also say Bismillah before they start eating. In this way, you're gaining two thawab, the gaining of saying Bismillah yourself and the, the reward for saying, sorry, the reward for saying Bismillah yourself and the thawab for reminding others to say Bismillah as well. Now I know, I'm sure you all know, that when we finish our meal, we should also thank Allah for providing this meal for us. We know that there are many people out there who don't have food and who can't eat food and are in abject poverty. So we should always remember whatever you eat, after you finish, say Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. In a hadith from the Holy Prophet وسلم, he states الأجر الأجر The reward for one who eats and thanks Allah for his food is the same as one who fasts for the sake of Allah. So think about it. How many times a day do you eat? And if for every time you eat you thank Allah after it, then one fast is written for you. How many fasts can you gather for yourself in one day? We need to gather as many good deeds for ourselves in this world so that we go with hands which are full in the hereafter, so that we are guaranteed heaven. And Allah has made it so easy for us to accumulate all this reward and all this thawab. And he is pushing us towards heaven. So let's make use of this blessing and not forget our bismillahs and our alhamdulillahs before and after we eat. Thank you for tuning in to our program. Please tune in for the next program on Keys of Life. God bless you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.